Now, our next guest used to look like this. But over the last five years, she's had breast enlargement surgery, face fillers and Botox to transform herself into what she describes as the perfect bimbo. And Alicia Mira is now hoping to do the same uh, to others by opening her very own bimbo school. She joins us in the studio now to tell us more. It's lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you, Alicia. Thank you for having me on here. Now, I went straight into the dictionary and I looked up the word bimbo yeah. and it said this, a young woman considered to be attractive but not intelligent. Yeah. I know you're intelligent mm -hmm. and you're attractive. Are you re-changing cha this word bimbo for us now? The thing is, it's not about... I am reclaiming the word, but it's not about really rec like changing what a bimbo is. It's about changing people's understanding of what a bimbo is right. yeah. and ending the stigma, the judgment. So if you say that a woman is not smart, yeah. like what are you basing that on? Exactly. So people might have an easier time respecting me because I went to university and all that. So they can justify to themselves that, oh, she looks this way, which is okay, I guess, because she's also this, this and that right. and, you know, but... A lot of women are not, and a lot of women don't necessarily want to be. They can find, you know, power in their beauty, their femininity, their sexuality. And I think that is exactly what I'm trying to change, the stigma. Gotcha. So what is a professional bimbo? Tell us what it means. <laughs> I, I honestly, for the longest time, people ask, what do you do for a living? And then <laughs> I realised, like, at one point, when I continue to actually make money of just being a bimbo, I guess that, you know, makes me a professional bimbo. Um, How would you make money from being a bimbo? Just, just... So, well, well, I'm an adult film star. Yeah. So that's one part of it. Um, but that's I, a separate thing. That's a separate thing, but not for me, because my fans are very much into the bimbofication right. and the bimbo look. Oh. Yeah, but then I'm also... Um, I own my own fashion company. I design clothes for bimbos, like myself. Yeah. And I also founded the bimbo movement that is all about reclaiming said word. Yeah, absolutely. So, look, can we have a look at the before picture again? So, this, <laughs> let's go back to, is it 2016? Oh, so, no, no, no. Is this when you look like this? What, no. what point did you look oh. like this? I think I was 21. Because so you're, be you're beautiful there. I know. Like, I, been, I'm a little cutie. <laughs> I mean, you're beautiful now, but you look yeah. completely different, different now, don't you? I know. So this was when I was 21. So yeah. this is like 10 years ago. So, Alicia, were you not happy with the way you looked? I've always been happy with how I look. Um, and I think it's for me, it's been important to never have an ideal of what I want to change into. Yeah. It's kind of gradually happening. I'm not obsessed with one goal. It's more... You know, I find inspiration in body modification. I love plastic surgery. I love fillers. And I'm just very inspired and amazed by, you know, blonde women with big breasts. And, you know, it's just something that I saw for myself. So I went and got it. Cause I How are your family it. about it when you decided to go down that road? Yeah, we haven't talked about it in so many words. Because it's not like I one day woke up and then everything was different. Right. You know, this is like 10 years. So I don't even realise the transformation until like, I see like, it Do you now. ever go back and just go, oh, I'd like to be like, look like that for a day again. I'd like to look how I used to look. Yeah. Or do you ever feel that? Or are you no. happy with the way you look now? Because I'm really happy with how I look now. And, and I think it's just in general, not just for me, but for everybody who's doing something, no matter how you dress, no matter like what you're into, find a way to be happy with who sure. you are in the present. And I think that's what has been my inspiration um, because that's how I can be confident. It takes a lot of courage and, you know, to look this way yeah, in daily life. And also, you're, you are risking your life because you're going under the knife each time. There comes risk with that sort of thing. There's yeah. one way to like a look, but it's another thing to actually go, do you know what? I'm going to risk my life to look like that. I mean, where do you get that yeah. courage from? Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you, like, the courage that I'm speaking of is more because people are judging and it's hard to be judged on a daily basis in yeah. society. Mm -hmm. um, the courage is not so much going under the knife. Like I've actually only had two surgeries. Sure. And I find a lot more people, a lot more women who, have, who look way more natural have had much more surgery than I have. So I don't, I don't think it's quite extreme what I have done, although it does look extreme, but like, you know, a little bit here and there, then, uh, of course, eventually... Sort of incremental, yeah. Yeah, I mean... What do you have, when you go back to see your family, do they, every time you open the door, they go, oh, you've had that... Oh, I see. Yeah. No, not really. Like, actually, not. Like, so I haven't seen them since my la latest breast enhancements, or I think some, 
probably so, but he's going to notice. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, there you are, there you are, in all your glory. <laughs> and what about yeah. the public? Do you, I mean, you, I guess you must get stared at, you get mixed reactions from the public. Yeah. Uh, what's that like? How does it make you feel? It, 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 does it bother you now, or are you so far down the road that it is what it is? So, I'm not going to lie, like, for the longest time it was bothering me. Um, I did notice, and it made me upset with humanity in general. I was like, why are we so busy judging? Like, I am not hurting you. You, like, stay in your own lane. Like, yeah. what are... Like, I think it's so important to encourage everybody to find their own happiness. Like, I guess there's a difference between judging mm -hmm. and seeing someone think something that's different and immediately just... Even if you... Your sub, even if it's subconscious, you have a reaction that goes, oh, that is different. Yeah, you know, it's, it's... like, obviously... What I'm talking about is the comments that I get. Oh, okay. So, because I can hear like people either laughing or like they sing the Barbie song, and I'm like, I'm not a Barbie, I'm a bimbo. So, <laughs> but <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but <how> does, <laughs> another for, story. For, for layman, help us out. How do we? How do we? T what's the difference? Uh, a bimbo is hyper feminine and hyper sexual. Yeah. Um, whereas Barbie, Barbie is just a doll. It's more about being a doll, isn't it? But. Like, I, I want to say, yes, for a long time, it was hard for me to go in public, and I was very aware. Yeah. But I just had to find it in myself to block out all that noise. Because what really matters is what I want to do in my own happiness. And when I found that, like, in a piece, and, like, I was proud of what I did. Because mm -hmm. it, it's like, it, you create a lot of obstacles for yourself when you look a certain way, like I do. But I overcame all that stigma that society had fed me with that, like, you cannot look like this and do that. And, you know, if you look like this, you must be really stupid or... So, yeah, when I overcame that, that and I just walked down the street, I realised, you know what, I don't even see people's opinion of me anymore. Yeah. Now I actually... <laughs> it's funny, because, like, now I only notice if people are not looking at me. And I'm like, why are they not looking at me? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, well, no. listen, it's so interesting. Fascinating to talk to you, yeah. yeah. Fascinating. Thank you for joining us today. Yeah, no, thank, thank you so much for having me on. So lovely to okay. meet you.